Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jake English. I just shoved 50 chips into my mouth or some shit, and now I'm back. At the end of the last episode, I said that now that we have Papyrus' phone number, and as some of you may or may not know, Papyrus has something to say in every single room in this game if you call him. So, I'm gonna try and fucking do that. Ugh, oh, God. Oh, Belch, you now. Sorry, I, I don't know if Dirk put it in, but in between episodes, Dirk, you can put that in now, but, like... Yeah, in between episodes, I accidentally, like, I picked up my tea because, you know, I was talking a lot and I had to, I had to re readjust my, my, my throat, my vocal cords. I had to soothe it with soothing honey and chamomile and all that jazz. Uh, but I, but I was crouched over and I chugged it. And so it, it created this big old bubble of gas right in my fucking abdomen. So I'm working that off right now. But yes. Uh, in retrospect, this is probably the first room that Papyrus will have something to say. So, let's call him up after I take this sip of water. Papyrus, talk to me, babe. Ring, ring. What? I thought you had gotten out of my room. We're going to have to start over from square one. First, do you know who Papyrus is? What? I don't... That doesn't necessarily make sense. Anyways. Alright, let's try it again. Papyrus, talk to me, honey. You're in my house. Good choice. Though I guess it's technically Sans's house too. That should only be one uh, S. The post Don't put the S there. Don't take that S away. Put a black thing over it. Not like that. Don't be racist. Don't be weird. Don't make this weird, Dirk. I probably am the only one that's making it weird. Because now that I said that, and Dirk's going to go, Oh, Jake, you're the one that's making... Oh, shit, my mouse is partly there. Hope that wasn't bothering anyone at the corner of the screen, or that Dirk cut it off. Anyways, moving on. But I prefer not to discuss his part of it. His room is... It's like another world. A world where they don't know how to vacuum. And also where, I guess, Lord English lives? Whatever. That's a... That's, that's a... Subject for another day. This rock is covered in sprinkles. Um, it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Ah, oh, fuck, I messed up. Uh, Dirk, fast forward, fast forward to this! Alright, fucking Christ balls. Okay, Papyrus, what do you have to say about Snowden? Ring, ring, Snowden, home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Yeah, of course it is, Papyrus. Alright, um, let's just do a quick savey poo before we head on to the marshy wilds of yonder, yonder m murky, muddy, malaria, midaria. I wonder if they have diseases in Monster Town, because they have food that doesn't spoil because it's purely magical. They have, I guess, um, injuries that can happen if their feelings get hurt, sort of. But nothing- oh god. Oh no, I'm freezing my eye! Buy me a beer, two bucks a glass, come on, help me, I'm freezing my ass! That's from The Simpsons there. Well, the ice is still floating down the river. River fucking purpley sticksy poo. Does it actually go up? I haven't actually watched it go up. And there it goes. Off to the core with you, Ice Cube. Alright. Here we are. Hey, you used to call me on my... Hey, yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure not to. Also, I forgot to call Papyrus. Hey, Papyrus, what the fuck do you have to say? Ring, ring. Waterfall. I barely know anything about it. But I'll do my best to inform you. Well, thanks, thanks, Papyrus. That's very helpful. All right, what do you have to say? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. But in this weird voice that Jake's gonna do. Because, I don't know, fuck it, right? Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Yeah, neat, huh? All right, whatever. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Waterfall checkpoint. All right. Um, let's see what Papyrus has to say. Oh, that's right. We have the fucking thing. I never actually... Oh, right. My brother has a station here. Yes. He, mean... he mans two stations at once. Amazing, isn't he? He slacks off twice as much as normal. Oh, I love those two. 
Alright, I never actually did this in my first playthrough. I, I don't remember why, but I mean, what the fuck, right? What? Uh, sorry, <clears throat> let me get back to the fucking octave that Sans is in. <clears throat> sorry, I'm very gassy. What, haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Oh, S Sans, honey. Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Gribbies, want to come? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work, motherfucker. Alright, come on, Sans, lead the way. Over here, I know shortcut. <laughs> uh, a cute Doctor Who music. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Oh, hey, everyone. Hi, Sans. Uh, hey, Sans. Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans. Hi, hey, you're Sansy. I don't remember all of their voices. Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> it's not even a fucking joke! It's not a fuck. Oh, Sans! Oh, I'm getting an aggressive already! Here, get comfy or whatever I just said. God. Fucking damn it. I'm just standing on the stool. I'm not sitting set. Look at my sprite. Foggy, look at Foggy, look at me. I'm not. S I'm standing. I'm stood on your whoopee cushion. My little tiny weird snow covered shoes are all over it, so fuck you. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Fuck off, Sans. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Yeah, I fucking bet they do. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? Oh, I don't know. I need a fucking meal. Let's get a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of Berg. Lots of protein in it, please. Not spunk. And uh, there goes Groovy. Up to Cooks or something. Is he scratching his head or wiping his brow? I couldn't tell. So, what do you think of my brother? Oh, definitely cool. Of course, he's cool. You'd be cool if two of you wore that outfit every day. I, I'm pretty sure Sans mean this, means this unironically. He's just, he's a, he's a good bro. He's a motherfucker and a fucking asswipe, but he's a good bro. He'd only take that, uh, he'd, uh, he'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it, probably. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Yep, there it is. Why do you guys even have showers? Can't you just cleanse yourselves with fire? No, that would hurt you, never mind. Alright, here comes with that burg. Uh, oh, it actually looks kind of nice. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Um, no, I'm not very hungry for ketchup, honestly. Sometimes I like my burgers plain, you know? I don't actually, but I prefer, I prefer guacamole instead of ketchup, personally. Just think it's a little more adventurous, you know? Sometimes, depending on where you go, the guacamole can be, it can have a little, little bit of spice, a little kick, a little bit of salsa, or just some really good avocado flavour. But anyways, moving on. No thanks! More for me. God fucking Sans, come on man, come on, don't, don't fucking, don't do that shit, dude. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus stress real hard. Sorry, hard, hard. There we go. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard, which looks like a, the, the person's head, which is kind of weird, but I don't fucking ask questions, and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Uh, but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, shit! Have you ever heard of a talking flower? I don't know, Sans. Have I ever heard of a talking flower? I guess it doesn't really make much sense to ask you that back. Or, or something. Um... You know what? I said I wasn't gonna experiment, but I'm gonna- I'm just gonna try this out. Just this once. Just- just this once. I haven't heard of one. I've seen one, but no one else has ever mentioned one to me outside of you. I'll tell you then. The Echo Flower. God damn it. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. <sighs> 
this is, I saw an interesting post on this, and I'll probably talk about it later, but I, I like to think that, like, you know, um, it, as far as seeing this like a game, because they have the power to save and reset, Chara's favorite character is Azrael, and Flowey's favorite character is Papyrus. Um, for understandable reasons. They're both similar, they both are very empathetic, and they're, they're both one of some of my favorite characters, too. So I agree. Nice taste, Flowey. Nice taste. Although, I'm sure you taste fucking disgusting. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Even in this fucking timeline where Flower's a big bag of dicks, he's actually being really nice to Papyrus. That's kind of heartwarming if you think about it. And also, really sad. Someone must be using an Echo Flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, back to the normal music, I guess. Well, well... That was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Yeah, sure, I've got, what, like 70 gold? That should be enough for two burgers, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, God, oh. I was gonna do an obnoxiously loud laugh, but then I belched in the middle of it. Oh, hiccuped, I guess. It's just the 10,000 G. Yeah, sure, I'll pay it. Just kidding. Real beer. Put it on my tab. I'm just that cool. And there he fucking goes. Bye, Sansy. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, I guess it was more like, by the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Motherfucker. Alright, can we get to the burg? Alright. Nothing to do there. It, before we end the episode, because holy shit, there was an entire episode of walking three screens and then getting trolled by Sans for half, five fucking minutes. Anyways, uh, let's call up Papyrus, see what he has to say about Grillbees. Grillbees, it's dark and full of grease, just like my anus. Purgatory of fries, hamburger abyss. Anyways, my brother practically lives here. Uh, more evidence for Sans and Grilby, eh? I, I still, I still, I don't know, there's something about that ship that just really speaks to me, you know what I mean? It's just, it's cool, it's sweet, it's nice, it's, they both, I mean, Grilby has no fucking character, so you can basically write whatever you want about him. And, and, it just, it just gives it a, a nice richness, and a nice sort of, it, 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 okay. It makes Sad Boy Sands, B-O-I, spelt. It makes Sad Boy Sands a little less fucking, like, trite and onceslery, because at least now he has someone to actually fucking talk to and make a connection with instead of just being sad and having a bunch of, like, fucking uh, grim, dark, bad end, um, sad stuck AUs. There we go. I forgot the name for a second. But, yeah, so, I really like Sans Grillby, and, uh, and Sans Toriel, and Sans Asgore, Sans Asgore is very good, and, uh, I'm just a big shippy mess, honestly. And next time, on A Very English Undertale, as I hold down the, uh, right, uh, arrow key, you and I, ladies and gents, we and gone binary folks, and, uh, everyone, really, just everybody, we all will continue to explore fucking waterfall. And, uh, oh, I guess I could have saved here. Whoops. Hey! He's, he's back? Why are you, why are you back here? Let's hang out again sometime. All fucking right. And next time we'll hang out again sometime. This is my third time trying to end the episode, so I'm just gonna end the episode by saying bye! Bye!